Hey now family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you are doing well. The girl is back with another video, back with my last Halloween set. I know I'm a little bit late posting this. By the time this goes up, it's probably going to be like November 9th or 10th or something. Um, it's just been a lot going on and I also haven't been home so I haven't been able to edit this video up but it is quite a little bit old. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a, or doing a Mickey Halloween set. This set came out like the cutest ever. But without any further ado, the nail tips I have on are Nail House's size three XL Taper Square tips. I'm gonna be using Nail House's Monster Mash Glitter Acrylic from their newest Halloween 24 Glitter Collection. I'm also gonna be using Mia Sukut's Cover Pink Acrylic. I also have here some gels from Nail House. I have their Halloween Town Grape Soda, and then I later actually added in their Lima, which is this green gel. You all will see that later. But I also have some gels from Valentino here, their white and black gel, number 45 and 48. And then I also have some Mickey stickers here, some Halloween stickers that I actually got from Shein. I thought these were super cute and they were perfect for this set because I kind of wanted it to be like beginner friendly as well. Um, instead of like drawn Mickeys, we have these stickers here and they're so freaking cute. So I have those and then also I have Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush that I'm going to be using and pairing with their Pro Monomer for this set. And anybody that is interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to the site in the description below and use code Portia for savings. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the application of this set. I'm going to be using this acrylic pretty much, which is again, Mia Secrets Cover Pink Acrylic for the majority of this set. I am going to be using that glitter Nail House's Monster Mash for the thumb actually for ombre, but that's going to pretty much be it. It's kind of like a going to be kind of an accent nail. I'm not going to be putting that glitter all throughout this set, but I definitely did want to incorporate it somewhere um, with this set. And I'm pretty much going to let you all go ahead and enjoy watching the application for now. And I will pop back in in a bit.
y'all how cute is this little ghost ring i think it is so freaking cute when i came across it on she and i had to have it it was like so cute um, a lot of people ask me where i get my rings from and majority of the time they're from like shein or aliexpress majority of the time um i don't really wear rings outside of like you know modeling them on my hands like from my nails and stuff um so yeah but i do get a lot of my rings from like shein they have like really good selections on there and i thought this little ghost one was so freaking cute and fit the theme just right i am kind of bummed that this is my last halloween set i did start a little bit late with the halloween content um even though i don't care about halloween i do like doing halloween nails and i started a little bit late i think around like october 20th was my first halloween set um and yeah i think just next it's always the next year though and then i will start earlier the next time with just getting out different you know season nails i guess i do understand a little tiny bit of why the girls be starting a little bit early with the different um you know seasons or our holiday nails i guess but i don't really understand the whole month early thing or like something like that like for instance i literally logged in instagram on november 1st and i started seeing christmas that's already and it's like relax like i feel like i can't like i don't know i don't know what i i don't want to say like can't breathe for a moment but i'm one to live in the moment and i'm not gonna like rush the halloween content i mean the lord halloween's over but the christmas content like it's november 1st we haven't even got gotten two weeks into november yet and i'm already seeing the christmas sets it's almost like uh who can do them first like type of thing i don't know like each year i don't know but um i'm gonna start christmas content in a couple weeks like a few weeks maybe the last week of november first week of december um right now after this halloween content i'm gonna focus on getting some fall content out for you all um yeah i always talk about how i just think it's kind of crazy how the girls be doing stuff like two months or a month in advance um i do understand starting a couple weeks early but hey i mean to each his own i like to live in the moment i feel like you know time is precious and things you know a lot of things are rushed and i don't want to rush anything i just want to live in the present okay <laughs> so next up will be some more fall content i have only done one fall set of the year that um like chocolate brown set was really really cute if you didn't see that go check it out but i do have a lot more fall content for you all in mind so you'll be seeing that coming very soon and then of course after that after a couple of little fall sets we'll get into the christmas content by the way if you all have not been uh, catching up or catching my videos lately um be sure to check out my latest like halloween sets i think i've done like four maybe five sets this this is i think this will be my fifth one right here um but if you haven't been checking out or like getting notifications or anything like that for my videos i have been your girl have definitely been posting some halloween content and um they are up for you all to check out if you haven't seen them already we're just finishing up this application here it's pretty much how we are looking with application complete i went ahead and took some um no houses crystal clear acrylic to encapsulate this thumbnail right here did a cute little ombre with that monster mash acrylic from nail house i love it it's so halloweeny it's super cute and next i'm gonna go ahead and move into shaping and filing for the girls who are new here or girls and boys or whatever what have you um for the people who are new here i do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel as well as like applications um for beginners and all that good stuff those videos are linked in the description below if you are wanting to check them out but we're gonna go ahead and you know move through this shaping and filing so that we can move into this stinking cute nail art
so for this set i will be doing like a little curve at the free edge of the nails they're not going to be like completely um straight across i'm going to be doing like a slight little moon curve or moon shape whatever you want to call it um to the nails and i also don't want to pop in to say i don't really like i don't at all not really i just don't at all like talking like politics or things like that on my channel but I do have to come here and say that um this these past couple days i have been completely like dismantled and devastated by the results of the election um i know everybody's entitled to their own like opinions and their own choices and things like that um but if you know you know and if you get it you get it i'm not gonna go into detail or explain anything but i just do just want to say i hope you all did people who are under the sound of my voice go out and vote it completely blows my mind that some people didn't even go vote um and just like the poor decisions that have been made i just i just can't y'all i've really been dismantled and i haven't even um just like on top of me already being late like um i actually filmed this set right before the day before halloween um knowing that i would have it up later i couldn't get it up in a day so i knew that it would be up later and then after that i left home for the weekend so it is up later but then after that i didn't even have this video is even later than i anticipated because i didn't even have like the energy or it was even in the mood to come on and do this voiceover yeah um i've just been really down numb and disappointed these last couple of days I don't know how many of you all follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you know, you know, you've seen my whole little spiel on my Instagram stories. I don't like to get into it, but I just really hope you all did get out and vote because if you didn't, it's just, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it just hurts me to know that some people didn't vote. But um, anyway, you all moving on from that because I could talk about that all day and I don't like talking politics, but I just have to say um that part and i have to i do also have to say i'm sorry for anyone who is um you know in down spirits like me as well and i just want to say that just like always everything will be all right well we'll be good um and i just want to say that i'll never lose sight of the fact that there's only one person and one source that sits on the throne and i will not give anybody else any further power um outside of that so yeah y'all um this is how the notes are looking completely shaped and filed um i'm gonna go ahead and move into just cleaning them off with some alcohol buffing them oh i've already buffed them i wasn't looking this whole time um <laughs> just talking but we're gonna get into this nail art now you all i oh so there's lima y'all that's nail house's lima gel i wanted to go ahead and pull out that green there's some green going on in that glitter on the thumb and i thought it was only right to include it um this set was kind of freestyle so i'm just kind of going with the flow i know i wanted to use the stickers for sure we're gonna go ahead and move on to painting the basis of the designs for the middle fingernail i'm gonna make that one completely orange using again nail houses halloween town gel i did two coats of that one curing each one in between for 60 seconds on top of this nail we're gonna do like some little mickey heads with some bling and i then move on from the base of this one to the ring fingernail painting that one completely white I think I did one coat of the white on that one. I could have done two, but we're going to see here in a moment. I can't remember. And then after that, I'm going to go on to the pinky nail for the base of that one. We're going to be painting it a green French. On top of the pinky nail, I'll be doing a little cute patch design. You'll see that. And also, this is kind of freestyle. Like, I had a general idea of what I was going for, but it is kind of freestyled that's why i kind of jumped around a little bit but you all will pretty much see what i'm doing
okay so i do remember now that i did do a second coat of that white gel off camera and um i only did one coat though of this green gel lima because we're gonna be painting over it this like patchy design that i got inspo from from this artist here i can't remember the name right now but i will pop the photo up on the screen of the idea that i got the pinky no design from okay nails by nikki 94 is the artist's name i have to go back and look she is the person I got the inspo from for the pinky nail. I really liked how she had the three different colors going on. Um, I think she did gray, black, and white. But of course, I'm doing different colors, which are purple, green, and orange for this look. But it was so cute. I had to recreate. So shout out to her for the inspo. By the way, I did not mention before, but I am using Nail House's size 25 millimeter liner brush for these lines here. And I also did use it, of course, for the French as always. And I did go ahead later in a moment and pull out this size 12 millimeter for the smaller lines. And I did cure each like, you know, little line and part of the patch um, individually for 60 seconds. Like when I added the colors and stuff, I'm not just, of course, going in on top. And adding more gel, I'm throwing each little thing in between for 60 seconds. All right, guys, and that is how this pinky nail turned out. I think it's so stinking cute, and I'm just leaving it the way that it is. I'm not going to do anything else to it, but of course, I'm going to top coat it using my favorite top coat from the brand F. Sanis. It's on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and top coat that cure for 60 seconds, and then I'm going to move on to the ring fingernail, and I'm going to be applying these cute little Mickey stickers randomly to the nail wherever I feel like they would go and whichever ones I want to use. It's kind of self-explanatory. I also did go ahead and draw some black sparkles um, in between those little stickers once I applied them and top coated it and we're gonna then move on to the middle finger now. Alrighty y'all, and that is how the ring finger nail is looking so far. It's already so stinking cute. Like, I love how, you know, the, easier, the stickers are just so easy and quick to apply. I highly recommend it for my beginners. Like, um, my girlies or boys who can't draw like me, um, I can draw a little thing or two. I have actually done a Mickey set 
like one and only time for a customer because i do create and sell custom acrylic press-ons um but i had to do like a little valentine type of mickey set uh for my customer who's going to disney and i drew like a half face mickey and mini so that's pretty much the only time i drew it this these little designs here were taking me ages to do if i did each one individually on this nail um i ain't that good yet y'all but for my beginners highly recommend these stickers and again they are from shein i definitely will link them in the description below for you all but now like i told you all i am going in and drawing some black little sparkles in between these designs or stickers and my tip always for for drawing these little sparkles are always to just pull like the gel from the inside of the circle out don't put any excess gel on the liner brush and create those lines if you want them thin especially um if you don't want them too thick go ahead and pull the gel from the inside of those circles and don't add any excess to the liner brush when you're doing that all right and so that is how that one is looking super cute and quick and easy now i'm going to go in on the middle fingernail with another little quite simple design but not really but we're going to draw a huge mickey head in the center and on top of that we're going to blink it out and then like on the remaining of the nails, we're gonna add a couple of little small bling Mickeys like here and there. Um, I'm really good for when I'm like drawing something because I'm not that good for real. I do like to use my dotting tool that is a tip and a trick um, to start off the design and then I'll go in with my, especially when doing circles, but then I'll, after that I'll go in with my liner brush to like clean up anything, but I do recommend highly to use like a dotting tool whenever you are drawing like little dots or just other little things like for instance with my last set with the ghost face i did take my dotting tool to draw a couple of those things or to start out anyway and then i went in with my liner brush to finish but that's a little tip um but for now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the index fingernail and i had a different idea in mind for this one but i ended up going with this little like swirl type of design um in purple i did want to do it in black but i decided to do it in purple instead i thought it would be cuter so i'm doing it in purple i'm doing it's like this little abstract type of swirl um i've done it before on one of my previous halloween sets like last year but but anyway on top of this i'm going to use some of those same little mickey stickers to put like randomly on the nail um, i'm also going to draw some little like sparkles and outline a couple of little places in black and white and you know all that good stuff and again in case you missed it this purple gel is no houses grape soda gel my favorite purple gel from them if you all can't tell i use it a ton um it's almost time for a new one but yes enjoy watching me do the rest of this nail and we're gonna move on to i think we moved on to either the thumbnail or applying the bling no we did the bling on a middle finger nail, nail last so I'm gonna move on to applying a little spider web on the thumbnail and like a little Mickey head. You are gonna see that, and then I'm gonna bring out the middle, and that will pretty much be all she wrote. So I'm not gonna, you know, ramble any further. I'm gonna let you all enjoy, and I'll pop back in in a bit.
so I just wanted to pop in to say, um, well, first of all, I'm loving the spider web. It's super cute. But I wanted to pop in and say that this gel here, this black gel, the only thing I didn't like about this gel is that once it sat too long, it begins to kind of spread. Like you can see how the lines in the web is pretty much put together now. But in the next clip here, you can see how after a minute or so, like a few minutes or so, they're kind of spread a little bit, like they're thicker. Um, which the, that's not the look I was going for at all. It's like once it sit for a little while, it will begin to spread. Don't like that, but other than that, I do like the gel. I have to find a gel. I probably should have used Zule's pink and gel, her black one, because I know that one wouldn't spread, but I want to find a regular black gel that does not pretty much like spread. Maybe nail houses wouldn't do that either. I don't know, but yeah, it's fine. It still came out really cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw my little Mickey head, outline it, and move on to um, of course, top coat it and then bling it out. Top coat on this nail and then bling it out the middle finger, Mickey head, and then add in small little bling Mickeys or Mickey blings. Alrighty, so it's only right to bling out this Mickey head, duh. So I'm going to go ahead and take my McCart rhinestone glue and begin applying it to the Mickey head and then blinging this Mickey head out. And I'm going to add some small bling Mickeys around it. But I'm going to go in using my Swarovski crystals in the color Jet. To apply this bling perfectly, well not like super perfect but to apply the bling you all will see that I go around the perimeter in a circle and then I go inside of that circle with more bling in a like in a circle and just keep going until the middle which it only was two layers of um the rings and then like one small little um crystal in the center and that was pretty much it and I did the same thing for the Mickey ears Alrighty, y'all, and these are our final results. Y'all, these are so stinking cute. 
for a Mickey Halloween set. So stinking cute. Like, if you all love this set, you all have to recreate it. Like, for my beginners, too. So I do feel like it's beginner-friendly because we just use stickers. Um, I really love these. And then I meant to mention earlier how freaking cute is the little Mickey mummy sticker on the index fingernail. That is too cute, y'all. I can't take these. These are so cute and definitely giving Halloween. Like, love them. They're good for, like, a cute little Disney set, too. Although I've never been to Disney, I am actually going this December, y'all. I'm excited to go. Maybe I'll do a cute little Disney set, like, Mickey set for that. But anyway, um, yeah, you all. I really love these. They're super cute and definitely halloween -y, And they're really cute for my last little Halloween set. Going out with a little banger. So, if you all enjoyed this video, I hope you all did and love these notes as much as I do. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe comment your favorite nail. Also comment some orange heart emojis in the comment section too. So that I know you made it this far into the video. Um, also, I did make a Halloween playlist for like my series that I just did with my Halloween sets for this year. On my channel if y'all want to check that out. Well, not just the ones from this year, but all of the Halloween nails I've done. But I just added those series that we just did this year to that playlist. Comment in the comment section below which Halloween set from this year's series is your fave. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your bell notifications so that I notify each and every single time I post a new video. Fall sets are up next and Christmas and winter sets will be following shortly after. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.